So why am I so passionate about migrants coming in illegally through the border, making them illegal immigrants? This is why. I'm from the Dominican Republic. After seven years of a long process going to the consulate and getting denied several times, we finally got all our ducks in a row and got a temporary visa to come to the United States via New York. Got here in 1991, right after the Gulf War. Went to middle school in the Bronx. Then graduated to high school in Manhattan and um, crime was rampant, so my dad moved us down here to Florida in 1995. After moving to Florida, I went to high school here and met my high school sweetheart. Graduated high school in 1997 and went to the United States Marine Corps straight from high school. Once in Florida, I went to high school here and met my high school sweetheart. Right after high school in 97, I joined the Marine Corps. While in the Marine Corps, both my parents passed away. I left the Marine Corps, worked several jobs to make ends meet, married my high school sweetheart, and had a child. I then became a personal trainer. Within that year, opened a personal training facility, blessed by God, became an entrepreneur, and have been living the American dream ever since. But it was not easy. It takes work. It takes work. Things that are worth having are worth going through the struggle for them. For those of you who don't know, just because you serve in the military doesn't make you automatically like a U.S. citizen. I had to apply like everybody else. I got denied twice. And I was honorably discharged, so I don't know why I got denied. But I did. I tried again during the Bush era. There was some things going on about that even if you, there were some rumors that even if you got a traffic ticket or something like that, some crazy, it was not true, but there were some rumors going around that uh, you can subject yourself to being deported. So I had already at that point, uh, two boys and a little girl, my wife in a home, uh, I ain't good at getting deported nowhere. So I applied again and eventually became a naturalized citizen. But by then, I already had several businesses. Being an entrepreneur ever since, living the American dream, because that's what America does. If you are willing, you can do things here. That's a fact. But to go back a little bit, again, my parents passed while I was in the military. So suddenly, me and my brothers were orphans pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and make things happen. All three of us, thanks the Lord Jesus, business owners, having committed crimes, don't do drugs, got fear in people. I'm married to a beautiful wife with three children. They both are married to beautiful wives with three children. We're all business owners. We pay our taxes sometimes too much, but we do because this is where we live. We are God-fearing people that love America and where we are. I am upset about the things that are happening because I know what it takes to come here and live a productive life and become a net positive for the nation that you are migrating to. That's our duty as migrants. It's not to trash the people that are already here. It's not to come here and wave the flag from the country that you left. And even if you did, they welcome you. They welcome you for you to wave those flags from the countries that you're coming from. What you cannot do is trash this one while you are doing that. Don't trash talk this one while you are exalting the one that you came from. It's not right. And this is a fact. You probably wouldn't get away with that in the country that you came from. This country is fantastic. This country is so great that those who trash it will not leave. Isn't that amazing? I served this nation and will do it all over again. And now, after I'm old and beat up, this is the best medium. It's a matter of fact, there's plenty of comments in the videos I make of people saying how upset they are. Migrants, 
because the documents are not true yet, their visas are about to expire and they're afraid of being deported, but they came in the right way. And here we have New York giving credit cards and places to stay to illegal immigrants. Now this new bill, HR 815, I believe it is, saying that 5,000 a day, they'll get asylum, immediately they'll be able to get jobs automatically by doing nothing. They just break through the border illegally. This administration wants to support it because it helps the Democratic Party because 65% of us Hispanics end up voting uh, for the Democratic Party. Not to make it a political thing, but it is. Anyways, this is why I am so passionate about this topic for those of you who keep mentioning and calling me a self-hater, an immigrant hater, that finally I got mine, so I don't want anybody else to get theirs. No, I'm contrary. I want all legal immigrants to come and have the same opportunities that I had, capitalize on them, bring a net positive to this country. We can always use engineers, we can always use smart people, we can always use people that know how to work with their hands because we're also losing that in this country. But just come in legally. And this nation, like it did for me, will welcome you with open arms. Don't break the law. Don't come here to take what is not yours and be grateful once you are here. That's all I have to say.